Hello everyone, Pete is a pretty back again with another deck review. Today we have the music box playing cards. This is from Collectible Playing Cards, or perhaps the Futurist Company. I don't quite remember, but one or the other, they're one and the same. Um, the top, the front top, it says music box playing cards, and you see the, the old style uh, phonograph, is it? Nice gold foil throughout, and it's got a cherry wood look to it. Very nice. Onto the side, you just see the nice little ornate little details. On this side is actually a keyhole. And on this side, more the same. The bottom, you actually see they have these very embossed little feet for this music box. It sits on your table like a music box. And it says, made in Taiwan by the Expert Point Card Company. Got the ballpoint cards that come with the logo. And there's this nice key, this is a sticker. It's like a seal. It's a sticker that was stuck on here. It's numbered 775 out of 1000. And this nice gold foil throughout. Uh, from what I saw in the product, it's supposed to have a magnetic clasp, but it does not. They changed it. And on the flap here, you got the same little details with the keyhole. Check out this nice uh, cutout they did on here. Very interesting. And then you open it up. It plays music. I'll set that for now. It's uh that music is I think it's called the Claire Lou, and apparently it was made. I don't remember how it was made. It was it was something bizarre involving metal teeth. Um, I, I kid you not. That that's what it says on the project page. So the cards. First of all, the Jokers, you get one in a whitest color. Uh, it's a Joker in the corner, it's a little ballerina dancing, just like any music box. The other one's the same thing, except it's in a beige type color, and they are mirror imaged. As you can see, you see this nice cherry wood grain on the cards. The backs, same wood grains, and the same girl dancing in the center, there's like a little uh, city skyline in the background. It's very rider back style, which is nice. I like it. I should point out that the cards do have a slight one way back design element to it because the wood grains are different, as you can see. Some people like to know that. Oh, that's a one way. So the Ace of Spades, big, massive. Spade pip, that's one of the biggest spade pips I've ever seen on a, on a deck of cards. And it's got the, the phonograph in the center there. And it's very nice. Custom pips and indexes. Spades and clubs have a kind of a whitest color. Hearts and diamonds have that kind of a daisy type color. Standard cold cards with custom pips. And they're all just white and this color. And then custom number cards, custom pips, I should say. And that's that. It's pretty nice. I like the wood grain and everything. It's printed by expert playing cards. They didn't specify what the hell is that? <laughs> they didn't specify in the project what the stock in the finish is, so I can't tell you much about that. What I can tell you is that it is. The smoother type finish that they use, and it's a it's a decent snappy stock, as similar to a bicycle, but also similar to some of the NLC decks, <laughs> which might be a turn off for some. It's a little bit pricey this deck, but it's very unique, one of a kind. You are well, one thousand of a kind. <laughs> You're not going to find any other decks out there that play music when you open them. So it's a novel idea. Handles pretty good. I like the cherry wood look. Of course. Um, so I'm going to say... 9 out of 10. By the way, I said saw you. There is the inside to make it work. It's like a big battery. And the little speaker. 
some wiring so it makes it a little bit thick but it's pretty unique um I like it, like I said, I think, what did I say, eight and a half, nine out of ten? I don't know. It's a pretty nice, pretty unique uh, type deck. It is pricey, but it's pretty cool. I like it. You can get this from collectiblepointcards.com while quantities were made. Comment, rate, subscribe. Give a thumb up. Spam the like button, as some people like to say. And I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.